As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's gonna have a, a big barbecue on deck, and tonight we'll have our own fireworks. Call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe a, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the Walsh. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but I'm afraid something terrible My has God. just occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job. I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Fisher, if I can't throw the Joint Chiefs a bone, we'll be at war in the next 24. I need you to bring in Zerkezi for questioning. Mylon Nedich has moved him to Hokkaido for protection. I have no idea if Shetland is aware or involved, but I'd like to find out. However it turns out, don't let your personal concerns get in the way. In my opinion, there are too many coincidences here. Zerkezi is the only living person who could have orchestrated the sinking of the Walsh. Even if the Koreans did launch the missile, it would almost certainly have required Zerkezi's help to actually hit the ship. And this business with displays. I know you don't want to hear it, but I think Shetland's dirty. The kidnapping of Morganhold, the protection of Zerkezi, relocating him after the blackout, it stinks. Looks like displays rented out the entire retreat. It's low-tech and quiet. Don't expect servers and security. Expect aware guards in tune with the environment. You're going to need to rely on more traditional methods, up close and personal. Japanese ISDF conducts low-level monitoring of the activities of anyone employed by a PMC for as long as they are in the country. We discovered yesterday that this place has rented this retreat, and a number of our agents printed microphones in the location. Unfortunately, we were not adequately prepared for the increased importance of the location. The microphones are detectable using standard tools. Needless to say, it would be best if this place did not find them.
Fisher, remember, I need you to bring in Zerkezi alive. What about Nedich? Nedich is another story. Isolate, simplify, complete. We're on the same page? Affirmative. Did I just see something? I better take a look around. But talk quietly. I'll tell you anything. I'm the biggest coward you've ever met. That's quite a claim. I've already wet myself. Well, then you've made the top ten. Where's the Casey? Somewhere at the far end. In the tea house, maybe. All right. I think it's time for you to take a nap, then. I'm such a coward. You should kill me anyway. I don't deserve to live. You are pretty spineless, actually. I'm so ashamed. I can't face myself any longer. I don't deserve to live. Five speed, 240 horsepower automatic transmission. Still V8 with 460 foot pounds of torque. Independent front and rear double A frame suspension on a six quad steel box section. Four wheel drive, ABS, and torque biasing differential with 40 to 1 gear reduction. Puncture resistant 17 inch tires, quarter inch aluminum rocker panel, and steel grid drivetrain protection. Windshield projected infrared night vision heads up display and a 640 gig MP3 player. Standard. No one will ever need more than 640 gig. What are you talking about? Mine's almost full.
Sounds like I'm walking on a family of parrots. Nightingales. It's called a nightingale floor. Protection against ninjas. Ninjas? There's no such thing as ninjas. Oh, yeah? Back in 2004, that thing in Georgia, I had a contract to help secure this oil rig. We got attacked by a ninja. You're crazy. Tell you what, you don't believe me? Why don't we trade places and I'll patrol where the anti-ninja flooring is? Fine, I'll go guard your post. Deal. <laughs> Watch out for ninjas, sucker. They're listening. Nice wheels. <clears throat> oh, crap! I think the trunk is big enough for a body. Oh, God. I, I'm not sure. Tell me where Nedich is or we'll find out. In the Central Palace, I think. He's meeting with some of the senior officers. Thanks. I'm not the one in charge. I'm just a grunt. news. Ah, I know it. I know there were ninjas here. What? Yeah, you must be a ninja. How else could you sneak up and grab me like that? Listen, I don't know what... Wow, I can't believe it. A real life ninja. Listen, I'm gonna kill you if... Wow, killed by a ninja. Cool. Do you have any Tetsubishi? Do you have any Tetsubishi? <laughs> Microphones. Ah, what a waste of time. Nobody uses hidden microphones to spy on anybody anymore. These satellites. This is so ridiculous, I feel like an idiot. Find anything? Uh, who are you? I'm looking for the same thing you're looking for. Microphones? Yeah. Did you find any? No. Where haven't you looked? I haven't checked the phones yet. Hmm. I'll check there. Take the microphones if you want. Take the microphones if you want. That's the first microphone, Sam. Five more to go. I'm on it.
Fisher. Looks like this place has kept a small staff on to take care of the retreat. Civilians? That's right. Don't let any of them get killed. I won't. What the? It's dangerous back here in the dark, alone. Oh, oh God, don't hurt me. Tell me something useful and I won't break your arms. I, I, I don't know. I'm new with the company. Well, I hope they have a good health plan then. No, wait! Uh, supplies! I heard someone say there were medical supplies in the kitchen. Kitchen, huh? Thanks. <laughs> medical supplies! Find any bugs? Yeah, they're everywhere. I can't get rid of them. It's like a damn insectarium here. I mean microphones, stupid. Oh, well, I looked a bit, but I didn't find any. A bit? What does that mean? Where did you look? Um, like uh, on the table and stuff. You looked on the table for microphones. Yeah. Gee, did you find any? Uh, no. Ah, never mind. I'll look for them myself. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any help. Stupid damn thing is broken! Nothing here. I'm sure there's nothing here. Forget it. I don't want to find anything anyway. Tell me where I can find Mylon Nedich. Uh, uh, he just went through here. A, a meeting room in the Central Palace. Nothing. A meeting with who? Zakazi? That geek? Uh, uh, no. He was just with some of his guys. Nothing How here many but guys? ghosts and shadows. Three, I think. Armed? Of course. Mylon is always armed. I told you where Mylon went. Sir Casey wasn't with him.
I saw something there. <sighs> There's nothing. Look, let's just forget it happened. Okay, you're getting rattled. Just forget it. Nothing here. I'm sure there's nothing here. This thing's a mess! So we can reschedule huh. this to there. Yes, right. Ah, well, I'm not sure. All right. Yeah, but if he says... That's true. South Africa. No. No, no. That's fine. An agreement we can live with. I think we can commit to that. That'll be fine. No. What about you? What do you think? Yes. Yeah. All right. No. Maybe. We'll see. That's half of Otomo's microphone, Sam. Broken. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled for the rest. Throw this to there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure we can do it. Yeah, but if he says... Well, that's true. South Africans. No. No, no. No. That's fine. An agreement we can live with. I think we can commit to that. That'll be fine. What about you? What do you think? All right, listen up. That was Doug. He's on his way, and he's not happy. What do you mean? He's on his way here? Our offices got turned over in New York and he's worried about a leak. He's coming up here to tie up some... Oops. Sorry. Good one. They're only yen. Not worth anything since the market crash. Not even worth the effort to pick him up. Penny saved. The offices got hit. By who? The feds? Who cares about the offices? What's this tie up loose ends thing? Not exactly sure. But this thing with the ship, maybe someone's on to us. But what if... Look, never mind all that. The boss is on his way and things are heating up. We knew that would happen, so just stick to the plan, get this place tightened up, and make sure that this little visit goes off without a hitch. Get moving! Everything you know, you don't die. Nothing. Uh, ow. Uh, okay. What do you want to know? I don't want to limit your options. Just spill it. Uh, Nedich. Uh, he, he's protecting this guy, Sir Casey. Some kind of computer genius. I know that already. Shetland. Shetland is on his way here. Why? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Nedich and Shetland. It, it's between them. Are Shetland and Nedich in this together? Or is Nedich acting alone? 
I don't know. Nedich is nuts. Who knows what he's capable of? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Dr. Nedich, if you want to know more. Dr. Nedich, if you want. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn it! What was that? Get out here right now! Shh. Let's not make a scene. Who are you? What do you want? I want to know what why is that? you're protecting Sir Casey. How displace is involved. I won't talk. You're gonna make me cut your throat and look for the words inside your neck. Oh God! Please, let me go. You're not leaving here alive, Nedich. But if you tell me what I okay. want to know, you're getting rattled. I can make the end. Of it Just forget it. For you. The blackout. We we needed to keep Sir Casey safe after the blackout. <sighs> And what about the Walsh? I don't know anything about the Walsh. You'll have to ask Shetland. Shetland? Yeah. She needed more data from Kizzy after the blackouts. But we have everything we... Shetland knows what you're up to. Yeah, yeah. He's the boss. He gave the order to bring Zerkezi here. Where is he now? He's on his way here now. By helicopter. Finish it, or let me go. Finish it, or let me go. That's Nidditch out of the picture, but we have a complication. There's a helicopter inbound. Shetland is aboard. Doug, why is he coming here? Either he was coming to see what Nidditch is up to, or our assumptions are wrong. You still think Shetland's crooked? I still don't know, and that's what bothers me. Find out what Shetland and Zerkezi are meeting about. Who left this open? Forget it. I don't What was that? I think I I don't like this. Nothing. Better that way. What set these off? All clear. He's simply a snail without a shell. Nothing could be further from the truth.
dragonaut-like forward motion of the North American tree slug, in the absence of its natural predators, is truly terrifying to behold. Many an entomologist, ignorant of the raw animal power of the slug, has awoken in his tent to find his rare lichen samples partially devoured in only a few short hours. Many more kinds of slug all around us, everywhere. Curious. That's the last microphone, Fisher. Otomo will be happy. Otomo doesn't seem like the happy type. Ah, it's just the old samurai Zen Shin. He's really nice in person. Uh, I've heard people say the same thing about Lambert. What does that mean? Lambert's nice. How many of his ex-wives have you spoken to? Nothing. What you're up to, but you better come out of there.
Fisher, satellite imaging shows you're nearing some kind of tea house. Zerkazy's inside? That's our best guess. Gather as much info as you can before making your move. We might only get one shot at this. Ooh. Yes, uh... Douglas? What? The Koreans, they... They couldn't have. Douglas, I need to know the truth. The truth. <laughs> Did Oppenheimer know the truth? What about Roosevelt? Abe, truth is what we need it to be. And the truth is, we did the right thing. What do you mean? Proof of concept worked. It was ugly, sure, but it's over now. You mean, you mean there will be peace? Well, peace isn't something that just happens, Abe. It has to be enforced, just like in the old days. You know, Sheriff wears a shield, sure, but he also wears a gun. Gun? That's right. Oh my god. And we can't have that gun falling into the wrong hands, can we now, Abe? What? What are you... No! My god, Fisher. Don't let Shutman escape. Is he a target? He's the target. What the... I guess it can't hurt to keep my eyes open. There's a ship. Anyone can get on board. There's a big difference between a free country and a $19 a share country. Freedom? Yeah. You go hide behind that idea. As long as the government is sending people like you after its citizens, we'll never be free. You're right. Maybe we all deserve the same fate as our Casey. Damn right. Fine. Let's start with you. You're just a pawn. In Shetland, we trust. In Shetland. See if we can track him. That's all your primary objectives, Fisher. We can extract you at any time. All right. What was that I just heard? 